Hey, good morning. It's great to have you back in the shop with us today. We're back at it on our two electric ukuleles for the great guitar build off. And if all goes reasonably well today, we should basically finish all the build tasks today. By the end of the day, we ought to be down to just, you know, details and clean up and that kind of thing. So I was excited to get near the end of a project. So let's get busy, get to it. So this is where we're at at this point, right? We got two mostly complete instruments uh, and just a few steps left. This one, which gets some magnetic pickups, needs uh, its access panel in the back, uh, which like this one already has, uh, at which point we'll be ready to start working on pickups. Uh, this one's gonna need a bridge and saddle made for it. Uh, this one's obviously just got an adjustable bridge that'll be, that will be mounted. Um, I need to clean up the edges of these fretboards. Uh, and then really we're down to fretting, tuners, sanding, uh, really, yeah, really pretty close. So uh, plan of attack this morning is gonna be access panel, um, cleaning up the fretboards, uh, and then we'll get in on pickups. So let's get to it. So I've run into my first obstacle, roadblock, unexpected issue of the day. Uh, I had planned to use this same template for my back access panel on this instrument that I used on the other one. Um, but I put my template on here that shows where that center block is that, uh, for the pickups. And yeah, that's it, there's not nearly enough space for this giant access panel. So what I really need is just a little access panel that's going to go right in here for this space, which is where like the volume and tone control will go. Um, so I'm going to need to make a new uh, template in order to route that access panel, uh, which is fine. Just, you know, it's always something, right? So great progress so far. Got access cut in the back of this one. Got the fretboards cleaned up on both necks and I'm ready to start working on pickups. Now for this one, I've got this interesting little experiment that I'm gonna try. I've got this little flat single coil surface mount pickup from MGB Guitars, not sponsored or anything, but I'll put a link to them in the description so you can check these out if you want. Um, never used this before, so it'll be interesting to see how well it works. Uh, they also make a um, a dual coil humbucker essentially that's flat mount as well. Um, I'm interested in this because it could be interesting in the future for electric ukes uh, because honestly not many people make pickups for electric ukuleles. There's one source in Great Britain that I've used um, but just looking for some options. What I'm not super excited about is the covers that they sell for these. It's sort of a brushed aluminum 
which I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not going to match my Chrome bridge very well, um, which would be nice if it matched a little bit better. Uh, and I don't just, I don't love the surface mount look of that. Uh, what I might end up doing is uh, I might end up recessing this cover and then making a little pickup surround either from the maple or from the mahogany for a contrast. We'll see. Uh, it also depends on, you know, whether I run out of time or not. Um, but for now, uh, I'm going to start working on that and then I'll probably jump on the other one. The other one's a lot easier because those transducer pickups just mount to the underside uh, of the the top from through the access panel on that one. So that one should be easy. But uh, let's get to work on this one and we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's where we're at. Uh, I went ahead and decided to recess this pickup. And uh, in order to get a good recess, I made myself a template. I did all this off camera because you're probably tired of watching me make templates to route recesses. But uh, so we're good to go. Now, what happened was um, my pickup is a little forward of where the block went, uh, which was a little miscalculation on my part. but it gives me an opportunity to make a good point, and that is the fact that in any project, um, there are always going to be things that don't go to plan. And um, really, most of the time, how well a project turns out depends on how well you deal with things that don't go quite according to plan. So this is actually going to turn out to be fine because the gap here is just going to give me a place to route the wiring from my pickup, which will go right in here. Wiring, obviously, whoops, wiring will go down through there and then my cover will go on the top right here and oh it's falling in and uh, fortunately my screw holes there are still in the block so I'll be able to secure that cover in with no problem uh, so we'll just keep moving forward um, that was a you know minor mistake but no harm no foul uh, and then we'll get our bridge mounted here and this one will be just about ready for final sanding and done all right Let's keep going. So it looks like our next step really is to start doing some final sanding. Uh, I don't want to put frets on until I've got the fretboards sanded, um, installation of pickups and wiring, like all of the recesses are cut. So it, it really is time just to start installing those things once that final sand is done. So I'm going to start working on that and then I'll probably drill holes for tuners in the headstock and that sort of thing. And uh, so we should be then after a I don't know, a million hours of hand sanding. We should be ready to for sort of final uh, installation and wiring up um, as well as finish. And we'll talk about what kind of finish we're gonna put on when we get to that point. All right, we're about two and a half hours into hand sanding. We're up to 400 grit on the bodies. We're up to 240 on the necks, and we're gonna keep working forward. But before we go any farther, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting binding onto these. I'm just gonna bind this, uh, this top edge since the bottom edge is rounded over. So I've got a um, rabbiting bit in my uh, little router here, and I'm just gonna cut a groove along the edge uh, we're going to put this binding in. Um, it's just ABS binding, so we're going to uh, glue it in with acetone. And uh, once that's set, um, well, actually, we'll get those in, get them taped up, and then I'll go back to sanding on the necks while that uh, binding, ABS binding cures on the bodies, and then we'll go back to sanding bodies again. And we'll just keep sanding and sanding and sanding.
Well, that's done. But man, though, that was frustrating. My, uh, my ABS binding, I don't know if I got a, a bad batch or I bought cheap or I don't know what I did, but it kept breaking uh, around the curves. And so I had to heat it to pre-bend it a little bit. But then the, the main thing that I had to do is I had to use uh, super glue, CA glue, instead of uh, acetone on most of it to get it to hold really quick so that it wouldn't break uh, in those curves. Um, and what's frustrating about that is that now I have super glue all over the body, which is not a problem because it just sits on top and it's easy to sand off, but it means all of the hand sanding that I did earlier today has to be done again. So that's two hours of hand sanding wasted and it means I've got a lot of day left ahead of me still. So. Again, frustrating. Stuff happens sometimes, though. What are you going to do, right? So uh, I got to get back to sanding now because I've got a lot of sanding to do again. So here we go. Well, I think I got to call it there. It's been a long day and I'm a little frustrated by how far I got set back by the issue with installing that binding. Um, but the truth is, I made a lot of progress today. Uh, the bodies and the necks are assembled. They're sanded. Uh, the bodies are sanded to 600. The necks are 800. Fretboards are 1200. Um, and they look great. And so I want to quit on a good note, uh, feeling good about that. So I'm going to. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, get out there and do what you love, and we'll see you next time.